Hi, my name is Matt Matasar. I'm an assistant member of the Lymphoma and Adult BMT Services at Memorial Sloan Kettering, and I'm here today to talk to you about our results for a multicenter phase two trial for patients with relapsed or refractory diffuse large B-cell lymphoma who are eligible for autotransplant. As you're all well aware, relapsed or refractory DLBCL is a dangerous, potentially life-threatening, but also potentially curable disease. Unfortunately, second-line response rates remain poor with current choices. As found in the CORAL study, both RICE and RDAP chemotherapy uh, produce disappointing results for uh, potentially curable patients. We asked the question here whether replacing rituximab with ofatumumab, a humanized anti-CD20 antibody with enhanced CDC activity, could potentially improve outcomes in the second-line setting. This is a multicenter phase two study where individual centers elected to give either ICE or DAP chemotherapy in combination with ofatumumab to eligible patients. Interestingly, our results are favorable, and we found an overall response rate of approximately 61%, even more noticeably in patients who had high-risk disease, either two or three risk factors in the second line, age-adjusted IPI, we had an overall response rate of 59%, and in patients with primary refractory or early relapse disease, again, res overall response rates of 60%. These results do f compare favorably to the results from the definitive CORAL study and are interesting enough, in our opinion, to merit a phase three randomized trial, work that is ongoing under the name of the ORCHARD study. This is a study which will be a randomized phase three study of RDAP versus ODHAP and we look forward to these results. If positive, this could be potentially paradigm-shifting treatment, and it's our honor to present these results to you today.